guys, it's me, Pierre, aka Nina Bonina Brown, and I know I've been gone for a little minute, but, you know, it's kind of just, I don't know, busy and lazy, <laughs> but I'm back because the all new Grinch movie is coming out, so I wanted to just, you know, go along with the whole theme and just do a more updated, recent Grinch look that looks like the one in the movie, so hope you guys stay tuned and let's get to this tutorial. So, first you want to cut out some paper. I'm going back to my roots, y'all. I'm using paper, bitch. Looking at a reference, and I'm just like, Drew, and I copy the Grinch's face, his shape, getting some liquid latex, and put it around the edges. I glue the paper on with Pro's Aid glue. Pro's Aid glue, and you want to put liquid around it, latex, to make it look a little more seamless. So, yeah, and just go ahead and put some powder over my eyebrows that I already glued down so it's not as tacky when I put a makeup over it. And I wanted to go ahead and put my other contact in because the green, the other green wasn't green enough. And back to my roots, girl, I'm using Play-Doh, bitch, Play-Doh. And trying to build a Grinch prosthetic nose. If you guys can just afford to get a prosthetic, go ahead and get one. The thing is, I didn't want to get the other prosthetic because it has all the wrinkles in it for the old Grinch look. And I was trying to get as close as I could to the new Grinch look. And just putting some glue prosate around my nose to um, adhere, ad, sorry, adhere, <laughs> adhere, girl, the prosthetic. And now just trying to mold it on my face. I could actually breathe through it, but I also po posted some more, not posted, girl, poked some more holes through it. And now I'm using a green um, face paint to see if I'm going to like that. But I end up using the Meron water-based paradise paint because it went on quicker and it was much more simple. As you see now with the sponge. And I'm so mad because like I and I like my Grinch look, but it didn't end up looking like the new one. It's The new one doesn't really have that many features if I think about it, but uh, I might try it again. But I still like this one because it's kind of like very Dr. Seuss old school, but kind of new school. And just painting around, painting around, painting around, painting around. And now we're starting to do a little, little details, little fine brush, using a darker green cream, and just starting to do that like angry brow kind of illusion. Um, but it should have been a delusion, you know. So we're just doing that. Yes, God. Girl, the girls, the All-Stars forecast was released today, Mama. Girl. Anyway, bringing that design up to the hair, the shadowing around the forehead. Yes, ma'am. Making little uh, hair illusions because you want it to seem like it's your whole face, including the paper, like everything's one unit. I swear I'm using big words. Unit, girl. And it's doing some depth and definition, contouring under the chin. If y'all hear that noise, it's a heater in the background. Girl, mama's cold. And as you see, it's painting on the nose. Make sure you have a reference picture. His nose sits up so high. Ugh. Girl, so you can't even like fake it. You have to use a prosthetic if you want it to look right. And now I'm making the under eyes seem bigger with some white paint. The same Paradise Water Elevated Paint from Miron. And then just going underneath it to outline it. And just blending those kind of harsher green lines as best as I can. Now I'm starting to highlight a little bit. Little clown white. I finally found the clown white, okay? in Aja's house. Uh-huh. So just highlighting away like I have no tomorrow. <laughs> blending, 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 blending. And adding some yellow, kind of yellow cream as well, because you want to give it, the more colors you build to it, the more actually authentic it looks and more realistic. So it's a lot of like back and forth process. So get ready. And 
Now I'm starting the eyebrow illusion and I'm bringing it back to where the paper is so it looks like it's a big face. Like it's just like the whole thing is a face. Now a little bit of black to create some more dimension and definition. Now we're moving to the nose area with the black, making the nostrils seem darker and just outlining the nose so it stands out more. Uh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> now lining the mouth. I didn't know how I wanted to do the mouth, but the more I kept going, I was like, oh, okay, this is cute. So I kind of went for like a smile. And putting the green cream to around the little muzzle area to make it stand out more. And here's the white to do the teeth. To give them that little grin, that little grinchy grin. Like, I'm smirking at you, but I'm really talking about you in my head. And now adding some translucent powder to set the creams. And right here, I had another green cream that I was just starting to go over the other green to build more dimension. And I decided to put some more of that green cream on my eyelids because I didn't want it so dark. Now using a shadow, it's good to use a shadow so it can kind of like make it not look so shiny and just use like a darker green shadow to kind of contour and just blend those lines in. Mm. And adding in some yellow, which made it look like lime, which works out because it goes along with the, with the color theme. This part is like a little growl line. You don't have to do this, but I felt like it kind of gave more definition and life to the face. And the body, I kind of just painted it because it's more so about the face. So I didn't want to show too much, but now I'm just kind of like doing the fur around the neck and making it, you see how I'm putting it on the skin and then going over, so it looks like 3D. So when I paint the rest of my body black, it's like, oh wow, it, it looks like he's like hairy all the way around. And it's using that green, darker cream again, just to create definition and shadow to the body. So it's more 3D. Now using the black paint, to start girl this is a lot of work y'all girl I, bitch i'm still cleaning this stuff up off my body days later <laughs> it's too much but i wanted to get that kind of skinny illusion with the pot belly so in the long run it's worth it but it's so much work oh look at that nipple though oh zipper zipper hubba zoo and right now i'm just putting in so i'm that part again I was talking about bringing it in like that and it looks like 3D because it goes into the black so yeah just adding some more definition into the fur mm -hmm. and there's some highlighting with that same lame, sorry, the same lime green that we use with the water activated paint to make it look just, bring it to life. My mouth is always open when I do a makeup. Oh, and here you go. The finished product. Thank you guys for tuning in. Ho, ho, ho. There you have it guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this Grinch 
tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A lot of work. I know, a lot of work. And I'm mad because I wanted it to come out looking like the exact movie one, the new one, but I still look evil, like the Dr. Seuss one from the old days. But oh well, I still like this look. And as always, honey, remember to dislike and unsubscribe. Like and subscribe, okay? And as always, stay beat, stay beautiful, and stay blessed. He's a mean one, Mr. Grinch. I